Couple months ago, we made a video in this abandoned cabin. You guys gave us 100 likes, so here we are. We're gonna spend the night in this puppy. It's the middle of winter, it's cold, it's dark, it's a little freaky. So stick around and see if we make it through the night. a bit of an impasse here there's like a bit of um open water i guess must have been like spring runoff it's not even spring yet but it's so warm that it's just melting so norma's gonna have to take the bag off and walk it down before we can bring the sled over there you go the old donkey here And um, you're gonna have to walk. for about 45 minutes and it's super slow going. We're having a lot of problems just keeping the sled level. Our stuff is teeter-tottering back and forth. The sun is setting. I'm getting irritated with this. finally made it to the cabin. That was quite a ride. We are going to get started by cleaning up this stinky little cabin because it is just as we left it. The sun is setting. We need to be able to see with our eyes some of the broken bottles and glass that are in there. So uh, we're gonna hop to it and get her cleaned up and get our bed set up for tonight. Should be a, a real blast. <laughs> It is very messy in here. It looks no different than the last time we were here two months ago filming a video. What we need to do first is sweep up some of the glass and the mouse poo because I don't really want to be sleeping on that. Where's the sweeping pan? It's in that yellow bag. Who? I can't tell if all these are like shit pellets or... I feel like odds are so good. Oh god, what are they eating? I don't know. Yes, full plate here. 
And there's the trash corner with the rats sleep. Oh my god. Better over there than over here. We'll build up a nice cozy nest for them. There's straight up a dead bird in here. I guess it's been there for months, so I'm hoping that time has uh, relatively disinfected it. Probably not, but it's the only way I'm going to sleep tonight. So we've decided to use these little, whatever, it's townhomes, um, the legend here, as our sleeping mats tonight. I think these plans are now defunct, but this is what could have been of the cabin. Probably, I think it was about right here. Well, this looks like the pond that's that's like right over it, there. That's definitely it, yeah. barely see in her. It's uh, darker in the cabin than it is outside because obviously there's no <laughs> electricity, let alone light bulbs in here. Well, maybe there's some light bulbs, but they're smashed on the ground. Uh, no, there's not one light bulb. <laughs> um, anyway, our little camping bed scenario is set up. It honestly looks pretty comfortable um, despite the rat poo. <laughs> <laughs> The odds that this is going to be detrimental to our health are, I would say, pretty high. I brought my slippers and I'm gonna, I'm kind of contained to this like little area here because I really don't want to walk around in all this like mice poo and glass. <laughs> so these might be uh, going into the incinerator when I'm done with them, <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. What do you say we make dinner? I say I'm ready for that. A wee wee? A wee wee. I'm starving. <laughs> and I brought myself some chicken fiesta. Oh, Wild West chili and beans. That's what I'm having tonight. Nice. Madeline is eating shepherd's pie tonight. A classic. Yes. That's a, a go-to for her, so. Yes. Um, we've decided to move over to our little camp station here because I did not want, um, rats to smell the any of this on us while we cook over there so step number one is going to be to boil our water Woo! Water I need. I'm just gonna guess. Just eyeball it. I doubt anyone would even come in here though. Like, they just would. Things are off. It's, like, yeah. They wouldn't come in here. Yeah. I don't see anything. Um. Okay. What time is it right now? It's like 10, I think. It's about 10. Yeah, 10 o'clock. 10.07. There's uh, not a lot going on in here, to be honest. We just kind of finished our meals and then sat around and talked for a little bit. Yeah, we went out on the sled a little bit, but... It's dark. It's dark So, now. it got a little sketchy. Not yeah. much to film either, to be honest.
Well, hun. <laughs> it's been a wild night. Are you gonna read? Yeah. So far, it's not that bad in here. Like, I. There's no stove, but it's very similar to the cabin that we slept at um, a few months ago. That we paid $100 to stay in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, this was free, so he killed me in, I guess. Yeah. Hi, sleepy time. Oh, she's gonna go snuggle up with all this ratchet and glass. Yeah. Cute little blinds over there. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Madeline. Right. How did you sleep? Not good. Subpar. Why? What was going on with you? Um, I don't know. I was sleeping in a bunch of rat shit and glass, so. <laughs> um, he, rolling over and hearing crunch, crunch. Doesn't make for the most comfortable sleep, soothing? I guess. Okay. The coffee going, so that's what's. Allowing me to muster up my strength to move. You said you heard noises last night? <laughs> yeah. There was a noise of a strange animal outside that was going uh, uh, like that. It was weird. You think it was Dobby? It sounded like one of the dogs, but <laughs> I don't I have no clue what that was. Oh, it does feel nice to have this thing. Yeah. We're wrapping up our stay here at the abandoned cabin. It's been a decent evening overall. It's now probably 7.30, 8 o'clock, and I cannot wait to get out of here. Uh, Norma is uh, packing up our stuff there. I got the coffee on the go. So I think we're gonna sit, have a little coffee, and then hit the road. on those I always feel like someone just like drop kicked me right in the back <laughs> awful awful feeling when you like wake up and you get you feel paralyzed or something <laughs> 